Now, cases of gender-based violence, GBV, in Kenya increased by a whopping 92% between January and June 2020, a study has now established. Releasing those findings, Gender Cabinet Secretary Margaret Kobia said that Nairobi, Kakamega, Kisumu, Nakuru and Kiambu counties reported the highest cases. Most common forms of the violence were physical assault, rape, murder, sexual offenses and defilement. The study attributed the rise to alcoholism, drug and substance abuse, poverty, family disputes and retrogressive cultural benefits or beliefs rather. Between January and December 2020, a total number of 5,009 cases were recorded through the National Gender-Based Violence Torrain 1195 and it is shown that there is an increase of 1,411 cases, making 36% of reported cases from previous year. Data indicates that Nairobi, Kakamega, Kisum, Nakuru, and the Kiambu counties reported the highest cases of gender-based violence. And the fact that very few people report because uh, of our cultural socialization, people do not even want to be say they are assaulted. Even the men don't want to be assault, say they are assaulted by, women, by their wives, or wives also don't want to say they are assaulted until they reach the limit. So that's why we are calling neighbors, family members to be able to voice that stop the silence, voice it out, and they decide to do something about it. What is a glass of wine? Surely what, uh, as Kenyans, I think we are losing something. A parent goes on video. She starts saying that that girl should be taught that she should, uh, if she takes wine, she must uh, also, you know, reciprocate. Since when? When did we as a society lose these things so much? That, that our girls and boys can't have dates anymore. That if you buy someone something, you must reciprocate. How is that really a society that we can live in? It is something that is very depressing about where we are headed as a country and, and how people even on social media will hide and use this as an excuse and start blaming the victim. I, I, that one, uh, Waziri, I, and I'm sorry, I know there's supposed to be decorum, there's supposed to be a way to discuss, but really when you go on social media and you see how Kenyans really feel about this thing, it is depressing. 